Cooking the sweet potato right on the campfire. Here's the sweet potato. Delicious. Just eating it with some salt. Rice and bean burrito with some uh, fried plantains. A little enchilada sauce on it. Pretty excited. Some strawberry pancakes for breakfast. Hello friends, family, total strangers. Uh, today's video, I'm backpacking. Uh, this is the Superstition Mountains. I'm backpacking from the Peralta Trailhead. I'm uh, on the Dutchman Trail and I'm gonna cut off onto the uh, Coffee Flats Trail at some point. So uh, still haven't got out of sight from the trailhead yet. But that helps give a little scale to the mountains right here. Awesome. Yeah, the superstitions are uh, super cool. You know, this is such a different this is such a different uh, terrain than uh, most people are used to backpacking through. first wildflowers of the season. That's pretty exciting. Well, technically there was the one single flower in Aravaipa Canyon, but uh, yeah, other than that, uh, first wildflowers of the season. That's looking up towards Miner's Needle. Wow, this would look like uh, it was out of uh, Cormac McCarthy's The Road, if not for all those awesome wildflowers. <laughs> Neat. I must say, I've never done a hike like this through burnt desert before. Very, uh, very interesting, very surreal. <laughs> These big old trees just came out of nowhere. Neat. Well, uh, that was a neat little section. Pretty unexpected, but yeah, super cool. Really tempting to camp there, but I need to put in a few more miles today at least. 
water. Yum. Well, I've got a little puddle here. Sometimes you got to make do with what you got. <laughs> okay, all filtered. <laughs> I used the little bag as a, this is an old Sawyer squeeze bag. And I use it to scoop and then pour in. And uh, yeah, worked great. <laughs> and the water didn't look nearly as disgusting as you would think it would. Uh, we'll see how it tastes, but. <laughs> I just uh, hit the coffee flat trailhead and now I have a quarter mile road walk. So I dipped outside of the wilderness area for just a second here. Uh, and then we'll be on the Woodbury Trail. Yep. <laughs> well, as it turns out, this one's even a little fainter than the other one. <laughs> but I got GPS, so it's all good. Back in the wilderness. There's breakfast, cocoa oatmeal. It uh, kind of tastes like oatmeal with hot chocolate, <laughs> only it's cold. <laughs> I think I'm going to add a little taste your choice, make a little uh, mocha oats. Yum. <laughs> Not the best tent site being right next to the trail and all, but uh, <laughs> sometimes you gotta take what you can get. All packed up. I just uh, did that quarter mile walk to the cow tank, filled up my water. Uh, I have three and a half liters, which uh, if I had to do it over again, I'd probably bring a little more water storage. But, um, so far, I've been fine. Huffin' and puffin' my way up Tortilla Pass. I'm uh, not doing any of those walk past the camera shots right now because I don't want to go back for my camera. <laughs> I am uh, stopped at the top of the pass for a little break. Gonna have some uh, plantain chips. <laughs> This is the JF Trail. Uh, I'm up in the Junipers. Uh, yeah, so we are starting back. We're kind of doing this as a loop, so. Yep, we wandered back onto the side of uh, Cormac McCarthy's The Road. <laughs> I hiked about uh, 11 and a half miles yesterday, and today I have no idea how far I'm going to hike. <laughs> Making this up as I go. Uh, I will say I am hiking some obscure trails here in the Superstitions intentionally. Uh, so they're not always the best groomed, <laughs> but I've seen one group on the first day in the first mile first mile of the hike and I haven't seen anybody since. So uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome out here. Pretty, uh, pretty isolated. Uh, it's definitely good to have a satellite uh, 
locator device, messenger device. Uh, you know, the superstitions are really close to Phoenix, so the west end gets super busy, especially on the weekend. Uh, it is Friday right now. But, uh, yeah, the east end, definitely not nearly, nearly as many people. I might be about to get some rain. <laughs> Currently hiking under my umbrella. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm fairly glad I brought it. I mostly just brought it for the sun. I wasn't really expecting to get rain on this uh, trip. But, uh, I mean, not catch it on the thorns there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the, uh, the poncho probably would be this is not great terrain to wear the poncho I could make it work but definitely have to worry about snagging it on everything because everything has thorns around here so uh, having the umbrella is uh, very nice I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera but that is super cool Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a painting. I hope that that shows up. Well, it is water. Not very attractive, but it is water. <laughs> I think I am uh, happier with the uh, cow trough water. <laughs> An exciting dinner of tuna and mashed potatoes, <laughs> but they are four cheese mashed potatoes. Uh, honestly, hunger is the best spice because I'm exhausted and this tastes delicious. <laughs> Not a bad view to wake up to. Chocolate oats again. <laughs> I did make it a little less soupy this time, so. Uh, just a quick heads up. If you're going to use an inflatable pad in Arizona, make sure you have an under pad. <laughs> so I have the Tyvek and under pad and, uh, Hasn't popped yet, but yeah, there's a lot of prickers and stuff here, so always a good idea. I uh, camped down there, down near Cane Springs, and uh, yeah, pretty nice spot. So the rain yesterday was totally unexpected. Uh, I did not even bring the umbrella for that. <laughs> so it worked out. But uh, I actually brought it for the sun. It's a sun umbrella. So it has uh, extra thick material and then a reflective surface. So yeah, it works great. Drops it probably by about 15 degrees under the umbrella as, if you, as opposed to just hiking in full sun. So... at the top of the pass. Lovely. Just topped another pass, just to give you an idea of just how close we are to Phoenix. That is Phoenix. <laughs> Super cool, getting our first cactus blooms. 
It's uh, March 27th right now. Well, it is uh, awesome out here. However, the terrain <laughs> is quite rocky. It's definitely beating up my feet here. That's Charlebois Springs over there, which is a very popular place to backpack to. Uh, I went there last year. Trees, yay. Taking a uh, quick lunch break, a little tuna spinach tortilla. <laughs> well, it's not exactly mountain spring water. I don't know if you can make out that goo under the surface there. Yeah, passing groups left and right now. So it's funny, people kind of stick to the same trails, but there's a really cool trail system. And yeah, those other trails are definitely rockier and a little fainter and you need to make sure you have GPS with them, but every bit is awesome. So, so I'm gonna continue on the Dutchman Trail. However, this Red Tanks Trail apparently leads to Labarge Springs in just like a hundred feet, which has like a a pipe even that the water drips out of, which sounds better. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks uh, much better, much better. <laughs> some people backpack to camp and some people backpack to hike. And I am definitely a backpack to hike kind of guy and I had intended to do like kind of a take it easy maybe eight miles a day and I just got out here and wanted to go <laughs> so I went <laughs> There's the trailhead. Yay. Back of the van. <laughs> yeah, that's my video. So thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment.